Why hello, and welcome to my 4K HDR sample series. Why showcase games for the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One X running at either 4K or HDR. Today I am continuing my uh, look at the Master Chief Collection by showcasing the first hour or so of each of the six games within it. And today I am going to showcase the first hour of Halo 3 ODST. Now this is the one game in this collection that I have not beaten. In fact, it's I haven't really played all that much of it. So it's going to be a little bit, um, let's say, difficult to, um, to adequately judge either the improvements they made to this enhanced version or relay my own personal experiences with it because I only played a small amount of it and it was quite a long time ago too. I'm gonna get started here. Quick start. And I'll play it on normal mode. Yep. Now this is a game that's uh, unlike all the other games in the series, it's supposed to be a, a very non-linear experience. This is a game that's set um, kind of in between the events of Halo 2 and Halo 3. You play as an orbital drop shock trooper, and you are set up with a team that includes uh, Nathan Fillion. who was featured in Halo 5 Guardians, which is a game I'll finish off this series with in a number of weeks from, the, from now. Looks like this is uh, describing the events of Halo 2 here. I am running a little bit of a cold at the moment, so my voice is probably going to sound a bit different. Not that makes it more or less annoying, but it should sound a little bit different than usual. So this will probably be less... So have less of me talking in it than normal. I believe this game was added to the uh, collection as sort of a make good for the technical problems that it had it's when Earth. it came out. Better late than never. How about you show some respect, Romeo? Just saying, Dutch. It added as a they free pack in. No. A free download. They left it for us. A free downloadable, I mean. You know the music. Time to dance. Hello, beautiful. Pods. Now. All right. Replacements? This many years into the war? Who isn't? At least they listen. To me. And they're not going to like what they hear. Orders are orders. Come on, Veronica. What could be more important than that carry? My orders. And Buck? Call me Captain. I'll pass on that dance. But you can't show me where to sit. What the hell kind of armor was she wearing? Don't know, Mickey. I wasn't looking at her gear. <laughs> Seriously? Well, gotta be close quarters. Exactly. Shotgun. Second to last. Right next to mine. Cozy. You gonna tell us her name, Gunny? Ms. Naval Intelligence. Our new boss. Hmm, brother. So check your mouths, find your chairs, and get sick! For a combat truck. All right, he seems to be in a bad mood. What the hell am I supposed to do with this inside a Covenant ship? <sighs> Wake up, Buttercup. Guess this is me I'm playing as. Relax, now. rookie. He don't mean nothing. Besides, now's one of those times. Pays to be the strong, silent type. Speak of silent, he's a silenced gun. 
So this game is running on the same engine that powered Halo 3. I think it came out in 2009, two years after the original game. Latest Covenant troops are massing beneath the carrier. Two years after Halo 3. Why? I'm not gonna find out way up here. Troopers, we are green and very, very mean! It was originally going to be called Halo 3 Recon, but they changed it to ODST for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, though. I take it back! Navy got its butt kicked! Hey, Romeo! Remember when I told you to shut your mouth? Yeah? Consider that a standing order. Alright. Alrighty, I have to um go ahead and... um. I am an interval after all. Stand by for just trajectory. On my mark. What did he just say? Mark! We're way off course! We're heading exactly where I need to go. But we're gonna miss the carrier! Radiation! Covenant just set off a nuke? No. The carrier's going to jump. It's a sub space rupture! You need to... EMP! Losing power! They popped your suits! We're going in hard! Okay, that's bad. Let's get started. Let's play some Halo. Well, yep, this is being recorded in 4K HDR at 60 frames a second. And roughly 40 megs a second bitrate. So it should look pretty good. I think these half hour videos I do end up being about 7 gigs in size. As I've said in all my previous videos, I'm limited to about half an hour of footage I can upload. If I go much beyond that, uh, it will never resolve to displaying at its full resolution instead of be stuck at 360p. Alright. Like it's pretty messed up in here. Quite a drop. Your stamina is low. Stamina is basically what you have instead of shields. You are not a Spartan in this game. You are in fact an ODST. Therefore you have stamina instead of shields. I don't know, I can't remember if they operate effect basically the same way, but you do have health you have to worry about. Let's go find All right. Stamina will will regenerate over time. So it sounds like shield to me. for a med kit.
basically have a kind of a lack of direction to get started here. There's a health kit. Health pack, I mean. Very desolate place, Numa, Numa Bossa is at the moment. Uh oh. Good thing he turned his back. That was a brute. Got some grunts there. At least three of them. Take them out silently. First with melee. And then with the silent. Submachine gun. This is a very different look for a game. At least with this um, visor mode here. One of the reasons why I didn't um, play all that much of this game back in the day is because of this, not really knowing what to do, because it plays, it does really play quite different from Halo, at least in these okay, sections. Okay, I tend to get lost and wander around environments like this, not really knowing what to do. melee this guy and then I can take out the grunts easily. You're not a Spartan super soldier in this so you can't just take out um, elites and brutes in a direct confrontation. Not easily anyway. It's not that this is a stealth game but you do need to be somewhat opportunistic in dealing with situations like that. I have a little bit of a cough, so I will be doing my best to mute the microphone when I feel the urge to do so. Uh, so yeah. If I accidentally forget, if I don't get to it in time, I'll just apologize in advance for it. And again, if and when it happens. That is, if I should fail to mute the microphone. I hear a brute somewhere, but I don't see one. They don't seem to be very observant. Do they? Okay, I have, I have not succeeded there. that you can't take them out. It's just way more difficult. 
especially with this uh, pea shooter for gun that I have right now. Okay. Of course, uh, the occasional grenade would certainly help. I'm out of ammo with that thing. This really is a pea shooter. That's not going to work at all. Grab this thing. Stay in a better chance. There we go. That's how that's done. Apparently I didn't take any health damage, so that's probably good. Where's that noise coming from? Alright, here we go. The waypoint marker, I can do that. Yeah, map is definitely not a thing that uh, you associate with Halo. This is clearly a very different interface for a Halo game. I'm going to put a waypoint, if I can, there. Apparently I can't put one at that marker, right? Uh, it doesn't matter, because it's showing up on the compass anyway. never really get much of an opportunity like this to explore uh, environments like this in a Halo game. It's more like um, a much more linear experience. Seems like it's a little easy to get lost in this type of game though. 
it is a pretty good looking game, even if it's not like a... Even if it's didn't get like an HD remaster, this is just an up-res, really. With a little bit of HDR added. The look is definitely Halo. It's just got a little bit of something extra added to it, especially with this stuff right here. not quite clear to me how I'm supposed to get over there, but hopefully we'll be able to um, figure it out here. Let me take Fast some back alleyways. No, I'm good. I'm good. I could use some directional assistance though. Bungie was always good at making skyboxes. This is just more back, evidence of that fact. Your money back. Now I believe this game is subdivided into separate uh, missions that are much more traditional in ha Halo in their, in their layout. To sort of uh, pick up stuff and you relive memories or moments from other squad members. I think that's the case. Finding any way over there yet? Here we go. Activate the old night vision. So I figured it out. Gotta tell you, I'd much rather be an ODST than a grunt. They seem to take. They can't stand up to anything even in large numbers. Mm. Wants me to throw a grenade even though I only have one and I don't need to. A little messed up. We need to get into here somehow. Here we go. Alright, look at this. That's what I want. I guess I'll swap this for that. I 
looking for a squad member here. There's a checkpoint. fluctuating lights, it's a little bit difficult for me to see what's really going on here. With the night vision on anyway. We're not just looking for any old trooper, we're looking for... Oh. We're looking for an ODST. Orbital drop shock trooper. Checkpoints tell me I'm going in the right direction. Ah, look at this. why that's a diamond achievement. It's like the first achievement in the game pretty much, but also goes to show you that I only played a little bit of this. Ms. Naval Intelligence. Our new boss. So check your mouth, find your chairs, and get set for a combat drop. Actually, close to the half hour point. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this and uh, say this is my first the part one of this video. And then, as soon as it'll let me, I'll, I'll pause it and I'll pick get this video and uploading, and then I'll start recording part two of the first hour of Halo 3 ODST. Understand a lot of this game is played in flashback. This is one such sequence. Squad, what's your status? Are you still with me, Buck? Yeah. Give me a sec. I'm hit pretty hard. My heart's more open. How about yours? <laughs> Ah, works great. Right. When you get done fooling around, I could use some help. Did I do something wrong? Because the only thing I regret about you and me not knowing you were a spook when we first met. I would have been a lot less charming. That's what I missed most about you, Buck. The way your mouth was always a little faster than your brain. Look, don't start about my job. We both agreed to end it. That was years ago, Veronica. I'm a little fuzzy on the uh, details. I must have met a lot of other saps since then. Why pick me for the safari? First, you're the best soldier I know, and second, I don't remember that night. Would you ask me in the morning? I remember not getting an answer. Say again, Buck. You're breaking up. I said stay put. I'm on my way. We missed our LV. I appreciate the concern. All right. So yeah, I'm going to pause this video and get it an uploading, and then I'm going to start with part two of the first hour of uh, Halo 3 ODST in my sample series. So stick around. I'll see you in a little bit.